Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So every now and then I take a break from my scale modeling escapades and try and do something other than scale modeling. So it's not going to be about the new beard and mustache style that I have, but it's going to be a little different. So this time it's going to be a little review on a model of a different kind. So without further ado, let me not break the suspense and let's get right into it. So sit back and enjoy the video. So the model that I am reviewing is what you see on your screen ladies and gentlemen. Well, not exactly a scale model, but definitely a model in every sense. A flyable model. It's a concept that one of my fellow modelers is working on and the concept may not be new but it's the first of its kind that is being showcased in this way, at least in India. So what you're seeing on your screen is basically a model and very much a flyable model of a rocket powered fighter aircraft. So when I say it's rocket powered, it does not mean it's powered by the actual ramjet or a solid rocket propellant, but by a solid explosive propellant, which is the gunpowder based explosive used in firecrackers that we use on the festival of Diwali. Surprising, isn't it? You must be wondering if this thing even flies, but trust me, it does. And I will show you some footage of that shortly. But first, let's talk a bit about the construction of the model. So the model is basically constructed out of a combination of aluminum sheet and wood, balsa wood to be precise, which is a very lightweight wood that is used as a standard in the construction of aero models. The wood is so light that it can sustain itself in the air for quite a while, nearly 5 to 15 seconds if propelled appropriately. The aluminum sheet is of 0.2 mm or 0.3 mm thickness and we'll see practically how these things have been put into use while constructing this model. So this is the nose of the model with balsa wood underneath and covered by an aluminum sheet and there's a reason for it which we will learn as we move ahead. This is followed by the air intake assembly which again is made out of aluminum sheet. Moving on to the canopy, this is simply a carving of balsa wood covered by tape to give it that black look. This can even be painted. Here's a look at the wing structure of the model and this is the ever popular delta wing profile. Again. This is all made of balsa wood with the exception of an aluminum sheet covering on the leading edge of the wing. This aluminum sheet is put in order to give strength to the wings and also to ensure that the leading edge gets an airfoil section to sustain flight. The dimensions of the wing are designed so that it can sustain gliding flight for almost 10 to 15 seconds after the rocket is burnt out. The wing has control surfaces carved out in the balsa wood itself. These control surfaces can be pre-adjusted before flight in order to achieve different angle of attack configurations. Moving to the underside of the aircraft, you can see two things that stand out. One is the undercarriage assembly and the other is the missiles or the toothpicks that you see. Well, looking at those toothpicks, the first thing that comes to mind is that it is a missile. However, this part of the design philosophy is incorporated into the model. The toothpicks have been added to incorporate strength and attachment of wings to the main body. Yes, definitely they look like missiles. The undercarriage assembly is bicycle spokes attached to model wheels. The model wheels are available readily in the market. Finally, we move to the main powerhouse of the model which is this roller pipe made of aluminum alloy. The thickness of this is around 0.5 mm and this hollow pipe is what houses the rocket fuel. Well, rather rocket explosive fuel. The rocket is simply lighted with a matchstick or lighter and propels the model forward. The rocket burns for about 4 to 5 seconds and then the model can gain a height of about 80 to 100 feet and once the rocket burns out, the model can glide on its own. Definitely an interesting concept. The tools used for the entire construction of this model are cheaply available cutting knives, sandpaper and the famous hacksaw. There are a few other interesting designs and the first one of them is this nice looking twin vertical stabilizer aircraft 
and as you can see the reason for the twin vertical stabilizers is the same as it is on the actual aircraft which is for lateral stability or rather better lateral stability the uh, the housing for the rocket is carved out in the same way using an aluminum alloy and the rest of the concept remains the same here's another nice little concept and this is that of a swing wing fighter like the mig-23s and mig-27s used in the indian air force so basically the wings they sweep forward or backwards depending on the configuration that you would want although for flight you would need a forward wing configuration now the wings are held together by rubber bands on the underside and I'll just flip it around and make you take a look at it. There you go. All that was very interesting, isn't it? So I finally bring my rant to a closure by showing you the actual footage of the concept in action. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.